Okay, I got a story for you guys. Now, Lester, I know you're a big chess enthusiast. Chess. Did you hear what's what happened in the world of chess this Is week? Is this like the cheating scandal? Yeah. I don't know, really know the details. Chess cup player accused of cheating with an anal sex toy. Hmm. There's been a lot happening in chess lately. This is strange considering you don't really ever hear anything about the chess world. A while back, a chess robot broke a seven-year-old player's finger during a Russian chess tournament. And now the Sinquefield Sin, Cup in St. Louis featured a massive surprise. Nobody got injured, but one of the games ended with a chess world-shaking result. Magnus Carlsen, a grandmaster and the five-time reigning world chess champion, lost his game. The shocking part is that he lost it to Hans Niemann. Although Niemann is a seasoned chess player, by all probability he shouldn't have bested Carlsen. Yet he did. And naturally, due to the shocking twist, Niemann is now facing accusations that he cheated by using vibrating anal beads. Uh, <laughs> let's take a step back and start from the beginning. The game in question took place on September 4th during the Cinque Field Cup, a major chess tournament and the final event of the Grand Chess Tour. Due to the high profile of the event, it's no wonder that Carlson was playing. The 31-year-old chess phenomenon has been famous since he was 13. He's the current reigning chess champion and has won both the Grand Chess Tour and Cinque Field Cup twice. Neiman, for his part, is also a chess grandmaster, but in the context of the Cinque Field Cup, he's still a relative nobody. The 19-year-old was the lowest-ranked player in the entire tournament. He has beaten Carlson once in an online tournament. That said, it was a non-classical game, and Carlson promptly proceeded to trounce Neiman in the following two games. Finally, in St. Louis, Carlson was coming strong out of a 53-game winning streak. In the match against Neiman, Carlson was also playing white, which has a small but statistically significant advantage due to getting to move first. In summary, Carlson shouldn't have lost, but lose he did. Even Neiman seemed to be surprised by the result. In a follow-up interview, he called his victory a miracle. Quote, I think he was just so demoralized because he's losing to an idiot like me. It must be embarrassing for the world champion to lose to me. I feel bad for him, said Neiman. As a genuine bewilderment or a thinly veiled humblebrag, you decide. Um, Carlson really must have been demoralized, though, since the day after his loss to Neiman, he dropped out of the Cinque Field Cup. To put that into perspective, this is the first time this chess juggernaut has withdrawn from any tournament. Why would he do that? Well, Carlson hinted at his reasons in a cryptic tweet, which featured a video clip of Portuguese football coach Jose Mourinho saying, If I speak, I'm in big trouble. Plenty of chess enthusiasts took the tweet as an accusation that Neiman cheated. Now, let us be clear, there's no evidence of him cheating, but that hasn't stopped the speculation of how he could have done it. The most common method of cheating in chess is obtaining outside advice on the ongoing game. Most commonly, cheaters achieve this through hidden communication devices, but we can fairly confidently say Neiman wasn't wearing an earpiece. But is there some other method he could have used? It was at this point that someone brought up the theoretical method of cheating in chess. It was recently published in the blog of James Stanley, a British programmer and chess enthusiast. Stanley's experimental method includes using a clandestine camera to observe the game and feed the information to a small hidden computer running a chess engine. Chess engines are computer programs that analyze chess games for optimal moves. The computer would then transmit its analysis to the cheating player through vibrating devices hidden in their shoes. But as far as we, as anyone is aware, Neiman's shoes were normal. This led to someone coming up with the wild idea that Neiman's vibrating device was hidden elsewhere, namely up his rectum. The idea that Neiman used a vibrating anal sex toy to cheat in chess seems utterly bizarre. Perhaps that's why Elon Musk felt the need to voice his support for the theory. <laughs> Quote, talent hits a target no one else can hit. Genius hits a target uh, no one can see, uh, Musk quipped in a now-deleted tweet. Despite the ludicrous nature of the allegations, they have caused Neiman harm. The largest chess website, chess.com, has banned Neiman from its tournaments until he can show detailed evidence uh, relevant to the accusations. What is a man uh, supposed to do? Submit an x-ray of his lower colon at the time of the match or something? For our part, 
uh, don't know if Neiman cheated, but if hypothetically he cheated, we doubt he had a bunch of anal beats stuffed up his butt during the game. The same goes for the Sinkfield Cup host. A player's decision to withdraw from a tournament is a personal decision, and we respect Magnus's choice. We look forward to hosting Magnus at a future event in St. Louis, said Tony Rich, exec- executive director of the St. Louis Chess Club, which organizes the tournament. Uh, the ultimate winner of this year's Sinkfield Cup was Iranian French uh, Alareza Firuza. He took home the event's grand prize, a neat $100,000. No one acu- uh, accused him of having a secret buzzer in his ass, though. So here's my thing. Let's say he did. Like, if you had a vibrating, like, v- you know, anal bead in your ass, would you be able to have, like, a, a like stone face where people didn't realize? You have to, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. I mean, I think people do this. The women do this, like they have those things inside their vaginas, and they like go throughout their day, you know. Man, I just think if you had something vibrating in your asshole, like you would make a face or some sort of tell. I mean, this guy's good if he was able to. Uh... Maybe that's why they accused him of cheating. <laughs> he was just like, ah, <laughs> at the table. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Night to root for. <laughs> I mean, what do you think? Do you think he beat Magnus without cheating? I mean, it doesn't sound like they have any solid proof. Um, I'm guessing he was accusing him based on style of play because computers sometimes do things normal people don't. But, uh, I don't know. It does seem weird that, like, you know, it's just an accusation, but the chess.com is like, no, we want proof you weren't cheating. Yeah, general, I guess it's not a court of law. Like, generally, the burden of proof is uh, the other way. <laughs> yeah, it, it exactly. does. Because if he wasn't cheating, he'll never be able to prove it. <laughs> it does seem like they're straight up disrespecting this man. They're like, you're so stupid. There's no <laughs> way you could have won. Well, and even cheating. he was like, oh, I'm an idiot. Like, <laughs> There are some moves that most people who are, are of like Magnus's level would say that's a computer move and probably be right a fair amount of the time. So I, he could have been playing in a, in a strange manner potentially. But I gotta know, was he using the butt plug? <laughs> Also, why did they jump to the butt plug conclusion? They're like, well, his shoes seem fine. (laughs) I guess there's only one explanation. (laughs) He's he's like Sherlock Holmes. It's like, no, no matter how improbable, it was a butt plug. (laughs) I actually do want to see like the Sherlock Holmes come, how he comes to the conclusion. (laughs) Those are always entertaining and very convoluted. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you see, right before his match, he was going down this highway, and there'd been this big spill on the <laughs> where, where vibrating butt plugs and lube were widely available. <laughs> on the uh, Benedict Cumberbatch Sherlock show, like, I think it might even be like the first episode, like, um, he sees, I think it was like um, Watson, like, had a phone that used to belong to his brother or something. And he's like, oh, your brother's a bit of a, a drinker or something. And he's like, how do you know that? And he's like, there's scratches where, like, he went to plug the phone in and was scratching up the phone. <laughs> and, like, I saw a woman tweet where she was like, oh, my God, Sherlock like, thinks I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I try to plug my phone in while driving sometimes. Right, right. Right. <laughs> 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 He's drunk driving. You know. <laughs> Michael J. Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a drinker there, are you, Marty? <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> 